guys, it's me, Rebecca, from Ceramica Paint Studio. Hold on, let me move my chair. From Ceramica Paint Studio. So today I am going to be doing a little Father's Day um, DIY for one of our new kits. So we got this really cute idea. It is it says King of the Grill has a little grill on there. It's super cute. I think it's a great idea for Father's Day and you could use it outside while you're grilling, inside, whatever you like. So our plate comes like this. This is the idea mainly. This is our stencil. So when we, when you order the plate and we give it to you, it's gonna look like this. It has a light trace of everything that says there. Um, this will burn off in the kiln, so if you don't completely go over it, it's fine. But it's just so, you know, you have some guidelines when you're coloring them in. So it's one of our nice big round plates. We are going to be getting in some square plates that we can do this on too. So if you'd like to hold on for those, you can. Um, but I think the round plate looks awesome too. Alright, let me get to my coffee. It's kind of hot today. Okay. So our, our color palette for this plate is going to be around five colors set. If you guys have a different preference or would like to add different colors, you can definitely go online and add them when you order your kit. But this is our set color palette. So we're going to be doing some of our green. This is from our bright palette. Some of our red, also from our bright palette. Brown, which is from our pastel. Some black and some blue. Alright, so those are our colors. And then for our brushes, we are going to be using kind of variations of just smaller brushes just because I feel like there's smaller details on this plate. So I have a thicker square one right here, a really thin one, and another thinner one that's even smaller just to do like all of the little edges. Um, because I think it'll be easier that way. So, we have our traced outline. You can see that pretty well right there. It's really light, but trust me, you can see it. Um, it doesn't need to be any darker because it will be burning off in the kiln and it's just a guideline. So, starting off, I believe the best thing is to leave black for your last color. So I plan on doing these letters in black just to make them really pop on the white background. So I'm going to save the lettering for last. The first thing I'm going to do to get started is the red grill. So I'm going to do the whole grill red and then leave this space in the middle um, to do black lines. So I'm going to start off with my red. Do the first bit together. So this is my red color. And I'm going to be using the bigger brush to start off. Just do like a rough outline. And so for painting anything on here, we are doing two to three coats, the full thing, just so we can get everything nice and vibrant and not streaky. So I will be doing three coats of this red on the grill. You could use a bigger brush, but I just feel like with a smaller brush, you have more control because it's a curved little line. So it's, it's tough to get that curved line with a bigger brush. Okay guys, so I finally finished doing the little grill. Looks pretty cute. I ended up using like all of my brushes just because I was picky and it was easier to do thicker brushes in some parts and uh, thinner brushes in other parts. So now that I have the red done, I think I'm going to go in for the brown. The brown is going to be these bottom little legs that it has right here and they're already sketched out. So I forgot to mention this, but these are sketched out in the colors that they're supposed to be you don't have to make them that color but it does make it easier if you want to follow this tutorial to the T um, so I think next I'll probably go in with the brown and do the little legs so this is pretty much just you know taking your time 
you know, making it look however neat or unneat you would like it to look. But um, yeah, just taking your time. I recommend definitely using your smaller brush for the legs because they're thick at the bottom, but then they narrow up. So I'll probably be ending up using this brush, one of my thinner ones, right here. I'll use that brown. So just like I did with the red, it's gonna be two or three coats. You know, so everything comes out even and it won't come out streaky. So you can do the first one together. I always like twirl my brushes like this after I wash them so the hairs on the brush don't like go all over the place when I'm painting. So I'll dip into that brown and do a little outline of my leg first and then fill it in. So I feel like that's a little easier sometimes. Okay. Okay guys, so I finished up doing the three layers of the brown paint for the legs of the grill. It looks like this. It's coming together. It's really cute. So now that we have those two main parts done, we are going to do uh, with the black paint, the lettering. So we're going to go over these letters in the black paint two, three times, and also the crisscross marks on the grill, just like that with the black paint. So two, three times we're gonna go over it and start off together. Um, depends how thick you wanna make the letters, that's up to you. I think I'll do mine on the thinner side just because I think that looks cute and it gives me more room to decorate with the colors when I'm done. Okay guys, so I finished doing all of the black lettering and the black crisscross for the grill, so it looks awesome like this. But, um, you know, this is all that we have outlined for you, but if you'd like, you can definitely personalize it, add a name, add a, um, details with the other colors that you have, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably add my dad's name, maybe, and just some fun details with like some bright colors. So this was our finished product of our Father's Day plate. I ended up adding my dad's name at the top. His name's Carlos. And I also added some details with the green and blue. Um, everything you do on this plate, make sure you do two to three coats of. So I did two to three coats of the blue and green. And then I went the extra mile and decided to outline it. But this was our Father's Day tutorial, and I hope you guys liked it, and I encourage you guys to check out CeramicaPaintStudio.com to um, look at all of our other tutorials and um, any of our other crafts. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.